Hey guys, I'm Dilajit Das from Techie Geek and today I'll be explaining you all you need to know about Cyanogen Mod 12.1. Well guys let me say you that I am using an Android 1 device which was an initiative launched by Google like 6 to 7 months before or more than that I don't remember and now I'm gonna I have installed the CM 12.1 on this phone and it's running quite well it's it's really, really running quite well my benchmark scores have been increased by 2 to 3000 points and now it's it's really good it's really good and if you are noticing this one and you are quite curious why am I wearing this some people can think that I am showing off a bit no actually these are my two months old headsets these are Philips, D, uh, Philips DJ headsets I don't remember the model number but I am probably on making a review on this headsets for you all to go and get some knowledge about this headset and to also say you will you purchase it or not so stay tuned with my channel to get this headset review and so let's come to the point cyanogen mod cyanogen mod was released by one or uh, two persons one of them was Crick MacMaster Crick MacMaster is good man but currently he is out of control right now <laughs> I don't know because he states that he will take Android away from Google within some years which I think is quite not possible but after installing this ROM or this version of CM12 unofficial beta in your phone you can expect Cyanogen can reach that level where there will be no Google Apps no Play Store none none of Google but only pure Android and everything of Cyanogen so Cyanogen has Cyanogen has given a much more material design to their current version but I don't think this is official Cyanogen mod 12.1 this is unofficial beta testing and so so let's do a review of this beta testing so guys Cyanogen mod is good as I always as I already told you and so let's talk about the features and all the change logs which occurred with Cyanogen mod 12.1 unofficial beta by the developer maybe okay so let's so let's start now cyanogen mod 12.1 comes with much more ui or you can say material design because the browsers of this the uh, uh, the calendar of this the you know uh, the camera of theirs the audio effects now cyanogen is always famous for giving up an amplifying or audio controlling application preloaded or inbuilt with them which is their trademark you can rather say that whenever you install a Cyanogen uh, ROM in your phone you will you have to you have to get one uh, audio controller or audio manager you can say rather say and after that you will get the clock which is also now uh, uh, to change to a material design the browser the audio effects the gallery i like the gallery most because cyanogen has took it something from 4.3 or 4.4 gallery application redesigned it changed the colors changed the prop properties and now they have make a new type of galleries which is which is really nice you can see this one it's really cool and i'm sorry for the stickers because in my messenger i don't know why this will to be saved if you if you know why it's been done please comment and help me out okay so the next is the speed of your phone your performance of your phone increases really increases i just tested my phone with official google stock 5.1 rom lmy470 it the score was 9015 now after installing the cyanogen mod 12.1 i got the score of 21,0225 sorry 21,225 I got the score so you can you can understand the performance boosters Cyanogen boosts the performance of your phone and it and it really gives me a good features really nice features because I like the download I like the download meter because in notification panel whenever you download something from Chrome Opera Firefox any any browser you will you will just see in the notification panel that there's 
one speedometer of, of this download means when you, when this download meter has been done you can see down at some kbps and all those you can see over there so it made meter speed which is really helpful for some users and it really attracts me and the next is you will you will rather get one weather application on the notification panel no, it's not an application it's an open feature when you slide down the notification panel to the quick quick settings menu you will see at the time and where at the date and time menu at right side you will see that your your location and the weather report has been given so that's a really cool feature for android and also it it also gives you the access of root you earn probably everyone knows to install sanogen mod you need a root so that's 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 not a feature right okay now next is the freedom to use your phone that's the point where cyanogen booms it you know like cyanogen blasts the floors i like cyanogen like this because i'm a newbie on installing roms i just started installing roms from two weeks and you can say i'm a flashaholic okay so cyanogen gives you the freedom to take away all the google apps no google apps pure android you can if you don't install the g apps for this version you'll not get any google apps so it's better that if any users are not willing to have any google apps no play store not none then they can not down then they should not download the g apps just download the cyanogen mod flash cwm recovery on your phone install it from there and you go and you are going you boom you go with your phone after that if you don't install Play Store, you won't get access to any application updates. Then you, then you need to take another third party application manager or app store to get access to new apps and updates and to install new apps. So that's a matter which really concerns some user, which really annoys some user and which really makes happy some users. So, so that's, that's another concern. Now, the next is whenever you have some recent app screens or recent apps in your home, in your, in your screen or recent apps, you can see that there's one all clear menu over there. There's one three like stairs, staircases which we have seen on the Android notification panels. That's present in Cyanogen mode. If you like, take example, if you have 55 applications running at background, suppose, and you don't want to waste your five minutes, swipe all of them your own you can use this staircase button to get away all the recent apps and to free up your ram of your storage within some seconds so that's a really cool feature because there are so many so many users who likes keeping applications at background they don't swipe it always they do it once or twice now the next is settings menu the settings menu is the best place for cyanogen mod people you can have so many access the notification manager themes display lights sounds lock screen you can customize like everything that's really good you know it gives you freedom to customize from a to z of your phone so you need to search on the themes and all those over there and you can need to go and the display and the lights live display is a feature now let me talk about live display. Live display is a feature which turns your screen into yellowish sometimes into some temperature increases and decreases because of the lighting conditions or your home's adaptive lights over there. So it changes your screen color or skin uh, screen tone as per your lightings to save your eye uh, to save your vision or to your eyes from the ultra UV rays another feature on the display in the lights menu is the expanded desktop option which can hide your uh, uh, physical which can, uh, which can hide your on-screen buttons and the notification panel for your applications and you can get a full screen desktop mode you can uh, you can access all of your applications full screen uh, you, ca you can actually it just deducts the place taken by the on screen key or on screen keys and the notification panel which can be hidden from this option the next is many privacy this privacy gives you to put, uh, to manage what which applications you should have privacy with or you can set a lock for them so that your confidential data can't be handled with your friends 
or your family members or your brother sister anyone so that it gives you a privacy that's that's really good feature on the Android because in stock Android you can't find this feature and there are so many features which I talked about we you can't find on stock Android and the next is the battery the battery menu it looks really nice now let me talk about the battery backup of this phone the battery backup gives me a bat uh, of it on screen always 3.5 to 3.7 hours of usage because our Android One's battery is of 1700 mAh milliampere battery or only 1700 so you can expect if you're having a Nexus 6 or Note 4 or any OnePlus One or any more handset which having a good battery backup you can expect it to go much higher than what your regular Android does so it has always it has increased my battery backup my old battery backup was 3 hours on screen time this has given me a time of 3 hours 26 minutes when I was still been with 2 digits on my battery so you can expect it a good battery so this is all I have known about CyanogenMod 12.1 unofficial beta for Sprout and hope you like it Hope you really give me some space in your heart for the technology purposes or reviewers. So, thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you in the next one. Well, this is gonna be a little bit MKBHD style, right? Okay. It's, it's my style. Okay. Okay guys, so this is all over for today and let me meet you on my, on my next video. Let me meet you. Okay. So, till my next video, you better be in peace.